brush stroke painting. This is a value sketch of a scene that you see over to the uh, left. And I am attempting to paint this all in brush strokes, not shapes, but a stroke from the brush. Obviously, the strokes that I put down with lighter values are bigger than the ones that I'll be putting down later. But if you notice, I'm just stroking it and texturing the, uh, the paper and uh, filling in where the uh, values of light, middle, and dark will go. <coughs> so I'm using a flat brush because that way I can um, prevent myself from drawing with the brush, filling in areas with, uh, with brush strokes. Then you dry it after you have the sort of a general pattern of the of the values and then putting down the next value and that might be just a little too dark up there uh, but I'm going to leave it and I'm just going to keep putting in some little bit lighter strokes and just seeing where they are in the uh, in the picture and uh, and uh, noticing where the little uh, light is I will put that in right away that's all just nothing but strokes and uh, See about some greenery that's uh, going around the tree there and then of course we got this pine tree which is very nice and so I'm going to include that into the top of the uh, railing there the wall so it shows that off not the stroke there not the stroke there you keep your idea of just strokes it will be free and also it will be painterly you see, so this is just a stroke, stroke, stroke. I am uh, not uh, blending, although I could blend in some times, in some areas, but I chose not to. It's all hard edge. And now for the top part of the, uh, the roof that's sticking out. Now, if you notice, the photo has very little values in it so I have to make up my own values in this particular uh, painting so I thought I would cast a shadow that was coming from the roof of, uh, of this building because it's got a big overhang now we have a basket with uh, flowers in it so I'm going to try to do that with many strokes and you remember you can put a stroke down and then later when it dries you can put another stroke next to it that will be forming that shape but if you go and put the stroke down as a shape then you don't get that painterly quality so you kind of separate your strokes now I'm putting in the darker values starting to work down the value scale and then see where I want to uh, make it uh, dark. Now don't go too dark too soon. There's some stroke there against the wall. And around this plant. Just a few little strokes. You should time yourself when you do these uh, thumbnail sketches because the faster you work the better it comes instead of taking so much time on it uh, why not uh, take less time and you can do more there's an archway that's coming in there so I'm going to put that in a little the stroke on top for a little texture I'm going to use that back building is in shadow so it shows off the side of the building that's in in light now there's more strokes coming see just dabs here dabs there we'll make this a little darker got a window right there so we'll put that in <clears throat> as soon as I put that darker value for the window you can see that shadow now is a shadow And I'm going to look and see, okay, I think the bottom of this balcony here is um, 
dark and it's lighter on the side. If you notice I have some guidelines for perspective so I determine where the eye level line is and then I draw my diagonal lines. I'm going to put a little strokes there for the uh, the archway. Now I'm going to darken that. And now I'm, that is not stroke. That's painted as a shape. As one shape. <coughs> stroke for the sky. And then strokes for the side of this building that's in shadow. And leaving some of the underpainting show through. By doing that, I feel as if you have a very painterly quality to the surface of your painting. And, and so it becomes a painting and not a photograph. Kind of like an impressionist. Okay, now we've got some shadows that are coming across, just a little bit of shadow. Show the flatness of the, uh, of the uh, balcony there. And put a little, few more dark uh, shadows in the pine tree. And by doing that, we can see where the sun is hitting right on top of that, that railing, a wall. You see, the pine tree is made up of, of uh, dashes and dots. And that's for how I like you to paint this if you try this tr try just strokes put a window in there just for variety and repetition although it's not in the picture just thinking a little bit where those strokes should be and then I think I'll put another lamp right there. That gives a nice perspective. And that is my painting. Eight minutes. And I'm ready to go on with now a full watercolor painting of this scene. <coughs> Thank you for watching and hope that uh, you will try this exercise. Look at the strokes.